Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session, how to scalp and day trade your way to financial freedom. In today's session, we're going to be specifically looking at trading the ABC pattern. Now I'm going to try to keep the session fairly short, but uh, the purpose of this session really is to give you some tips and ideas and to really get you interested in finding out more about the ABC pattern. Just very quickly, uh, many of you, uh, because this uh, video is going out to the general public and to my membership base, uh, hello and welcome. If you haven't uh, watched one of my videos before, I've got hundreds of videos, of course, on YouTube. And as always, traders, these videos are raw, real, and unedited. So if I uh, muck something up, you'll have to forgive me. So let's get back to the PowerPoint. So, as with any pattern, trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise the market has a memory we see really dozens of different types of patterns in the market each and every day and with the ABC pattern some traders call it the one two three some call it the Z pattern there's lots of different interpretations and names that traders are given them I don't hold the franchise to good ideas by the way so I'm just going to present to you what I believe is uh, some of the best ideas with trading this pattern now I do need to put up a risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, don't trade with the rent money and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and if you haven't already uh, requested my ebook for truth about day trading please click on the download link below and we'll get a copy of it out to you and just a very very quick advertisement uh, as I just mentioned subscribe to my channel for $197 traders you obtain all of my setups uh, literally uh, I think there's now actually 300 hours of online training videos hundreds of handouts free indicators all included and there is no upsell you can if you wish join me with my coaching classes but that's an optional lecture extra you're not going to have a telemarketer ring you so visit my website and better still come and join me now as I said uh, this is for both members and non-members so members that's the end of the advertisement I can assure you as a quick reminder show me a person that's got a compelling future particularly a trader or one that's learning how to trade and I'll show you a trade if it's going to make it and so what's really important is that you have a daily weekly target now a poor man or woman is not one without a cent but one without a dream there's always a way to achieve this now the great thing about the ABC pattern as you're about to see you get some really good moves now if you're a day trader and say your target is to net $200 a day what you'll see is that uh, and we'll just look at a couple of charts uh, with ES and I think we've got some charts there of um, oil as well uh, 5 by 4 now what I mean by that trade is, is 5 4 tick trades a day is 250 gross and 225 or better after commissions and we've got a, a saying in our coaching class 5 by 5 yes I can 5 by 5 yes I can and they're what we call scalps then we go for what we call our two B's which is a very very high probability trading strategy that we have that usually gives us well and truly over six ticks a move so you only really need three by six yes I can combine those it's over four hundred dollars per contract and as you can see you can do very very well well you can see on this chart anyway so if you started off with an account of six thousand dollars an average only $200 a day per contract within 16 weeks you can be up where where are we here 16 17 weeks you're up around $10,000 a week income this is the potential now your income may vary your goal and of course every trade is going to do something different we've got uh, uh, traders that are earning an average of hundred and fifty two hundred dollars a day and so it really comes down to what is your target and they're happy with that target so very important you have a target and the ABC setups will give you those five six tick scalps easily and they work on all time frames and all markets which is really important now as we move on now let's talk about it 
now Fenman who um, uh, passed away some years ago um, a very very famous and as he says here and I think I really love this I've got, I have approximate answers and possibility and possible beliefs and different degrees of certainty about different things but I'm not absolutely sure about anything <laughs> I just love that now when it comes to trading trading is about probabilities the ABC pattern traded correctly which I'll show you how to do it today is about probabilities and so can you have two or three losing ABC's in a row absolutely you can't be sure that every trades going to work out and that's where we ignore the individual trade and if you haven't already read Mark Douglas's book uh, the disciplined trader that is every must be every traders Bible it really must because he talks about trading on probabilities and that's probably the most important lesson for you to learn is you must think in trade lots of 20 now let's start to drill down now you will see a lot of trading educators and those that have written books will talk to you about Fibonacci retracements used in ABC pullbacks or as some call it one two three now what I found traders and they've got to really fall within this to be an ABC you've got to be within what's that the top five here because once you get extensions at 1.618 of course it's no longer an ABC so we're looking at a point there is we're about to see a lot of examples but a B and then we get our, our C point and it moves so a B C is down here and we get our move now we'll see different levels and if you look at these different levels and you start to mark them up actively on your charts you'll see you get all sorts of pullbacks to all different levels and is a 0.38 percent any better than a 0.78 percent well I personally don't think so however okay I'm not the world's best Fibonacci trainer or teacher uh, I follow it just because I've got thousands of members that do but really you'll see how I do it in a moment and I'll give you some good ideas but Fibna numbers it's still interesting to draw them in and I'll show you once again how we do apply the Fib numbers okay so another really important thing with an ABC setup is that lots of traders will talk to you about waiting for a breakout I want to wait for the hook that is we want to wait really it's really a retracement test and it's also very good on picking market turns and what we want to really do is look for that reversal hook pattern and so as you're about to see when we get to the active charts there's lots of opportunities that come up but let's look at what uh, like Suri Dadala what he has to say about the ABC pattern now if we look at his top patterns and he's got an excellent book where he's got uh, in that book uh, I think it's 64 or 66 different patterns and these are his top 10 patterns and you can see here that the ABC pattern comes in at number two and if we look at this here we can see and this is uh, uh, off one of his powerpoints we can see we had a rally up here's your a B here's your C point and we can see here that the C is lower than the A and away we go and what he's done here is also then taken and made this a measured move for a potential target that is he's taken point A to B extended that from C which down to D now what some traders will say is you wait for the breakout that is down here but what you'll discover is with an ABC if you're waiting for the breakout you quite often are giving away a lot of profitability in this point now sometimes we'll then stall down here it will form a double bottom but you've still made money on the way down and if you consider say someone like G man now G man is one of the traders at SMB capital and he's written extensively up written extensively up in the book called the playbook and he loves this sort of setup where you've got the hook and uh, he will sell one lot of contracts down here when you break this low and he will trail the rest 
so you can use the ABC here and also use a measured move now let's have a look at another example this is a long example and this is what we call a well going by um, Surrey a perfect ABC we've had an extended move we rally up we get a bounce quite often we'll see that will be off a major EMA it might be off say an 89 or a midline channel comes down it might be a 50% retracement and away we go now I mentioned about waiting for the breakouts and here we can see an example that I found on the internet where a 1 2 3 or an a B C where they're waiting for the sell of support once again I disagree with that because you can give away a lot of profitability in that break now here we've got there a 38.2 a 50% or a 61 sometimes I'll come back to the 78 uh, and they'll still work out mighty fine and in my opinion it really comes down it's a probability game and I'll show you some of the best setups in a moment when we get to uh, these uh, get to my charts in a moment so once again going long we've got this breakout point above point two now let's have a look at a couple of examples now I love using anchor charts and what we're looking at there is the ES now I'm using the Renko charts with anchor charts in this case because the Renko uh, I, I trade with a combination of both Renko and tick charts I'm going to use Renko I think in all of the examples I give here just because they're a little more visually easier to see uh, the ABC patterns however if you trade with tick or time-based charts it's just about um, really gaining the visual experience and it doesn't take too long to pick these up so let's start with this particular chart here now note here this was after I had a fairly strong move then we've come down here even though this isn't a large extended move what you can see here is this this is what we call angulation notice how here how price is angled away from our main EMAs this can be a really good heads up of a change in market direction now if we look at our anchor charts what is the direction of our overall trend we are in an uptrend so this is what we call our entry chart our anchor chart one anchor chart two if you find three charts too much just start off with them um, just your entry chart and your anchor chart now for the members in the room uh, I want you to remember that on my Google Drive actually I'll just pause the video and I'll pull it up just one moment now as a reminder on my Google Drive if you are a new member watching this you will find a folder there with chart time frames and how I establish the time frames that we trade so don't forget to go there and where is the new recordings and uploads okay so don't forget also to go and check out the new recordings and uploads that is all the latest cheat sheets uh, that I've created I also post in that folder so don't forget to uh, go and check that folder because is, I'm putting new materials in there uh, all the time so let's get back to the chart here so what we've got here is angulation see how price is angled away this is quite often a really good heads up of a change or a turn in the market now note then we then rallied up to our major we had our major EMA bounce so this is a B whoops that should say C did anyone pick that <laughs> I just want to make sure everyone's paying attention that's actually should be a C so this is about um, a 62% retracement it looks about 50 but it's a bit further than that so what you've got is great angulation we rallied up had a pullback then away we go so as you can see getting just five well actually you're only need a couple of these a day as you'll see and you get really good moves now price sim rallied all the way up to uh, the pivot that's when we then had a t3 and a pivot bounce what you also want to take note traders is that you quite often it's not so visible on your entry chart but you're getting a really good ABC setup on your anchor chart 
let's have a look at another one this time I got it right okay so here once again a different chart this is on the NQ we've got some great angulation see that angle we rallied up we've got our retracement our pullback okay and that's point C so a after a really good move pullback we got our, our bounce we come down now for members in the room you can see there that we actually had just there a t10 and then we had virtually a slingshot trade now at times if you look at your t10 cheat sheet and the slingshot quite often will have an ABC will also be either a t10 or a slingshot setup quite often and we look over at the anchor chart we can see right there that's the ABC that we had set up now we go over to the anchor chart over here we had a really extended move and we had an ABC set up on the highest time frame let's go and have a look at another one you'll quite often see this and here we've had the market we rallied up very quickly this is on oil a four tick Renko now that was too fast to trade itself until we hit the pivot and what we then had was a pivot bounce and if you look at that there you've got a t19 pivot bounce so very high probability trade and now come down we then had our bounce at point B had about a 50% odd retracement and point C the market had slowed right down and away we went now what can you see about this trade look at that angulation once again so what you had was basically and we can call it almost a mean reversion type trade reversion to the mean have a look at another example this is on oil one tick Renko now in this particular case point a rallied up B about a 50% pullback and away we went for a really nice move so you'll see these moves uh, you can do very well now where's my stop go very important I like to place my stop one tick below the white candle bar now the candle for the non members in the room this is what we call the super scalper now the super scalper does not plot until I get a tick above the second candle so it doesn't plot right on the first candle it plots as soon as I get an uptick above the second candle so if you don't have the super scalper it's important that you do wait or I recommend you wait using an, an anchor to, sorry using your entry chart or your scalping chart you wait for three lower or three higher closes to confirm the trade now with the one tick Renko this is a true scalping chart and that's mainly during the globex session you'll be using that now let's go and have a look at the charts themselves and let's look at some opportunities here all right so if we look at this here so this is our live action now this is during the globex session you can see we've just had quite a, a move up here uh, just there if we look over at our anchor chart what have we got there basically a nice extended double top with divergence all right so if you look at that there you've even got a little double top there and you've got divergence now this is the ES one tick so I've got a one a two and a four tick I've got a great double top on the higher time frame great divergence on my MACD uh, and here is a little ABC now how I draw the and just to make sure for the newer traders we simply will take our fib tool plot it at the high come down to the low and you can see there from the low and if you look there let me just plot that for a moment it retraced to the 50 percent level exactly so and this is live as we're talking so we just um, come down uh, so we had a so let's just go through it we had some angulation an extended move uh, and we come down so a B and this is point C just there so this is live let's just um, pull back a little further and we had a few let's see here what do we have here? try not to move this too fast now because it, here's an example here I want to give you an ABC now what about that point there okay yes you might have taken that as an ABC and let's just put our fib tool on it and just have a look at this so we go from here so we go a B and that actually pulled back to almost 38% believe it or not it's nearly 38% retracement and it actually 
failed but it rolled over here so what we would do is and you'll see this a great deal where here it's not so obvious but look at your anchor chart a B C so let's just do this a and B and what you've got here at this point which is that point on your anchor chart one is a 61.8 exact retracement traders and that then is your point C so yes you still might have taken that one now note also you'll write your selling right into the pivot so that dramatically lowers the probability of that trade coming off because you're selling into the pivot let's have a look at another example I'm just trying to pick up every example from this live day now here no big move now remember what I'm looking for is I'm looking for angulation and ideally your best ones are when you've had an extended move okay so uh, let's just quickly go along here okay so what we've got here is um, look you've got an ABC you've got a bit of angulation so a B C thank you very much it's not too bad not a great one and once again you get different quality ABC ABC setups now here's another one you had an extended move for my members in the room or watching this video this is and let me just pull this back here this is a 1d so this is a classic 1d it's just a slight overshoot of your pivot so a b c and then we bounced off the 200 now these lines here if you're wondering for the members in the room uh, these are all the 2b trades so you'll see there we had a loss there you had a nice winner you had a nice winner uh, back here I'm just looking for some ABC's too for you uh, no ABC there right yet a couple of winners there now here we've got another good example of an ABC for you where you had two of them so a B so you can see if I pull it across a little more for you I had a big long extended move okay so here's my point a we rallied up had a bounce came down we bounced again so let's just have a look at our fib retracement so I go A to B I pull back exactly 61.8 percent okay then we had a nice winner now of course where would my stop go and I should mention this so I'm entering on the close of a third candle my stop is going to be one tick below so what I've got there is a five tick stop got a five tick stop which on the uh, on the ES is 62.50 where would my first target be well if we look at where we've got our greatest amount of resistance it's up here at the pivot level and for any members in the room uh, yes that is a 2b right there so you also got a 2b so you got an ABC now look what happened after that we rallied up then we come down again then you end up with a trade in what we call no man's land so if we look at this here traders when you look over at your anchor chart see if I can pull this over here a bit for you on your highest time frame see this here a B C on your higher time frame maybe a little easier a bit hard when I'm sort of juggling it's not live here here it is here a B C on your higher time frame so there you've uh, had a good 8 10 tick move you had right there you had a, uh, a really nice um, uh, pivot bounce uh, 2b okay and a 34 on your anchor chart 2 we came down we then had our three higher closes and there is our entry now for some members you may ask isn't that a 2b just there well no because it's off this bigger picture ABC would have been a loss so if you had have taken that ABC you were still in the market all the way back there so traders you get a ton of these virtually every single day and here's another one ABC I just saw one just a little bit over here so ABC so note here we had great angulation once again you had a new lower low 
a high and a new higher low now that there is a 78% pullback so traders an ABC can be a great addition to your trading arsenal and one of the trades to consider taking however what is really important and let's remember this trade is that it's very very important that you master just two or three setups trend following strategies because the ABC at one two three whatever you want to call it is more of a uh, a change in trend direction usually speaking so usually it will identify with a change in market direction even if just for the short term so what I recommend is focus on your with trend trades to begin with for members in the room we are um, for members sorry of my program uh, as I say in the coaching room we kick butt with the 34b and the 2b that must be the foundation of your trading 34 B's and 2 B's there are an absolute incredible combination trend following from there once you're consistently profitable then you start to add additional setups such as the ABC so traders uh, if you're not already a member of my channel or uh, subscribe to my channel I should say please do uh, if you're not a member of my program for $197 there are literally dozens uh, of videos actually I think there's actually now over 200 videos themselves so I look forward to having you as a member thanks traders